is still the main category. Player of the that year. Player of the year. We want to see what happens at the end of the day. So, uh, 9th of January, that's when the Blue Cup Awards will come up at the Convention Center, Eco Hotel and Suites, uh, Lagos, Nigeria. We wish the Eagles and wish all those that have been nominated uh, the very best of luck. Let's step down from the um, Blue Cup Awards and talk about the 2014 African Nations Championship, the CHAN. Um, today, the Nigerian Football Federation released the list of 30 players and a few players on standby. But the high point, Yemi, is that Super Eagles coach Stephen Keshi has called up three members of the all-conquering, world-conquering, Golden Eaglets of Nigeria. Kiliti Hianata, the MVP. Um, Taya Wuni, the top scorer. In the, I, mean, I mean, the top striker of the team. And of course, uh, Dele Alampasu, the goalkeeper. He's called them up with 27 other players to report to camp in Abuja to see if they can make the chant team. That, that, that's what mm. the bottom line. See if they can measure up. I mean, if it's just the hype, if it's just because you're playing against uh, teenagers, can you really replicate what you've done mm. at, at, at the youth at, at the youth championship uh, at the senior can level? You, can you do it at a higher level? Can you do it at a higher level? Are there the uh, potentials to do it at a higher level? And and and, and I think Keshi is a smart move by Keshi. This will answer a lot of questions. A lot of people have been saying, okay, Brazil did it with Ronaldo, take Kelechi and to the World Cup. This is a good opportunity. He oh, doesn't get to gamble mm. with and, the World and, Cup. And Ta 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 as well. Yes, uh, especially now that uh, apart from Emmanuel Emenike, you don't really have a one goal per game striker in, mm. in the Super Eagles. Mm. You don't have a striker you could always close your eye and say two chances is going to bury one. Mm. And Tyler Ty really looks like that kind of a guy. His positioning is good. And David Alapaso as well. Yeah. The holding for the tournament. Uh, had a shaky start. And, and look at Kelechi. Look at that pass, that vision. I mean, this is. This is something that I hope to see at a higher level. Exactly. Uh, mm. From these three guys, and, and, and it's good that the three guys will attend the FIFA Ballon d'Or. just goes to show uh, uh, what the world expects mm. from, from these three youngsters. And hopefully, uh, they'll be able to do what they did at this stage uh, on, on a higher level. Is the chance level, level a little too high for these guys? I think so, really. Um, the chance level you feel is a little too high for these guys. Home base is this is for home base players. These guys are, who play in their leagues. These guys are youngsters. African football is a bit um, physical. It's a lot tougher. And you know, like I, I've noticed of late that at a young age, if you get if you start getting injured, uh, your, your lifespan as when a you start like, early, you also pick early. Yeah, but but then again, you start early, you start you know playing against tough opposition you stretch yourself mm. beyond limits you might you might pick up one or two things uh, along the line that might be detrimental uh, to, to your career but then again it's a chance uh, for these young guys to show us if what we saw uh, is a fluke is a fluke or you know they, they really, really have it in there really well. i've seen 17 year olds mm. go to the world cup and dazzle uh, i've seen uh, teams uh, bring youngsters to a World Cup. Uh, didn't get to play, but he made it. Mm. The experience counted uh, later on uh, for for England. And if these guys can't measure up at the chance, let's see. And uh, that for me, this it will it will help Keshi decide. You know, and some of us would either keep quiet or continue the calls mm. when we see what happens to these boys. If they eventually, uh, if they don't make the squad. We mm. just keep quiet. And if they make the squad, they get to play, they play fine, they play well, then some of us will keep saying, this guy uh, deserves a place in the World Cup squad, even if he's not going to play. Mm. All right, let's quickly go to Twitter uh, before we go to our next story and read some of your reactions because they are really coming in fast. Um, E.K. Chikadibia is accusing us, Yemi, is accusing us. He says, even an octopus won't be able to predict all the eight groups. And he says, certainly you guys don't want to give away any World Cup ticket. Well, is he saying the truth? He's not saying the truth. Try a lock. Try, try a lock. Try a lock. Don't give up easily. Integrity is at stake here. Mm. So if, try a lock. If you get it right, you get what is being promised. Yeah, just try a lock. You could, you could, you could be the one. Um, and then Unwe uh, underscore Chibuzo says Nigeria will be in Group C alongside Belgium, Croatia, and Japan. He says this is what I see in my dream. He's, that's what he saw in his dream last night. Uh, and he says it's not a bad group at all. If you ask me, well. You mean Belgium? You know, I said at the beginning a long time ago that Belgium is looking like a team that will be in a group, but that's just my own opinion. It could change tomorrow. Uh, Belgium, Croatia, Japan. I'm Sweet. happy. I'm happy. These permutations, I, for me, I don't really need No South American team in this one. I really don't need it because we don't have to wait for too long. I mean, by this time tomorrow, we know who we'll play with. Uh, for me, what's going to matter is 
after the draws. Mm. Then we'll see how we prepare for the teams uh, in our group. I, I'm not really scared of any, any um, well, today we we'll call it reckless optimism. But you see, I feel we've got to a stage where even on a day the, the Super Eagles of Nigeria lose, they'll still give a good account of themselves. That is why uh, we don't need to be afraid uh, of any, whoever comes our way. Uh, mm. I wouldn't want what happened to uh, the Ivory Coast to happen to us. But of course, I believe that, look, fear itself is dangerous. Just go there, like Keshi said, whatever comes your way, just know that I have to get out of this group. Mm. Either it's easy or it's, it's difficult. Hard. Yeah. Mm. A lot of you guys that are bringing out the permutations are, whether deliberately or not deliberately, avoiding South American teams. And all the World Cup we've gone to from 94 to 98 to 2002, uh, to 2010, we've always had a South American team in our group. Yeah, we, We've not been able to shake that off. We'll definitely so have, have one. Check, check this one. Oniha Aisue at uh, DSP 1 Aisue says Nigeria will be in Group D. Uh, Belgium, Russia, Iran are going to be our group opponents. Um, so that's what it says. Belgium, Russia, Iran. It's a possibility. It is. Yeah, but people are just living as South American teams. Is it that there will be two groups that will not involve South Americans. Mm. And that there are chances that, that we might mm. end up... We've never really had a go with South Americans at the World Cup. In yeah. like, in Even at age grade levels too. Mm. Um, 94, we lost 2-1 to Argentina. 98, we lost 2-1 to Paraguay. And if you check... 2002, we lost 1-0 to Argentina. 2010, 1-0 to Argentina. Apart from the game against Argentina in 2002, if you check all the other games that we've played, we, we mm. play well and only get to lose because... I mean, technically, they, they seem to be better. Uh, apart from, okay, in 2002 and in mm. 2010 against Argentina, they were clearly... But those other games, the one against Argentina in 94, uh, the one against Paraguay in 98, we were better, but we lost. Mm. I mean, there was, there was something about it. I mean, one, one, one moment of... 94. Yes. Two free kicks, two goals. In 98 against Paraguay, even though we played... So, we were already qualified. Yeah, so and we took it easy and played with our, with our reserve team. Exactly. But, but apart from the instances in 2002 and 2010 where Argentina clearly were the better side, we're the, we're, we're the better side even though we, we, I mean, we did try mm. our, our best. And I think that explains the fear that people have that even on days when these guys don't... That's why they're living as American teams. They have a bag of tricks and mm. they know how to pull it against naive African teams. Mm. All right. I like your word. Um, Joy Forever 74, uh, a very good friend of the house, a regular on the show, uh, is already picking some of the winners for the 2013 Glow Calf Awards. He says, Coach of the Year, Keshi. National Team of the Year, Nigeria. Calf Player of the Year, John Mikel Lubi. Young Promising Player of the Year, Ian Acho. Fair Play, Nigeria. Nigeria, Nigeria all the way. That's what he says. Doom Nadio Conta also follows that same way. He says, the 2013 Glow Calf Awards will be a Nigerian award night. It will be Lagos for gold. That's what it says. Uh, I'm not sure that Yatoe will be reading that script or will be agreeing with all of this. I'm not sure. here to spoil the fun. I I'm not sure. But um, if we get to win all the others and we don't get the player of the year, I'm mm. not even talking about base in Africa. That's the high point of the, is the calf player of the year. That's the high point. That's it's, what we want. It's been a long time. Mm. Uh, and really, uh, I'm just hoping one of the guys will, will just uh, pick it. Mm. Uh, Okay, Emeka at Nzemeka 2 says uh, Vincent Enyama is the next African king. And the reason is uh, Yaya Toure will beat Mikel, but with Enyama's impressive form of late, he will win it. Vincent is on top form, but goalkeepers hardly win these kind of awards because they are hardly seen. But for Vincent, the last couple of weeks, is really come out in, I mean... And most times, any, any other time... himself in, in, in glory. Any time, it, it's not a striker or a midfielder. Mm. Conspiracy theories will come out and tell you that they didn't want a particular person to win. That was why they gave it to a defender or a goalkeeper. Uh, the instance where uh, Fabio Cannavaro was uh, chosen as, as the best player, a lot of people will say, okay, fine, they didn't want to make Thierry Henry. Mm. Uh, they didn't want to give him the award, so they just conspired to... to uh, so, but... But I'm hoping it's going to be Vincent because mm. if, if you want to put all your support behind a Nigerian, I mean, like Vincent I, comes in. I jokingly told you that Jose Mourinho spoiled the script. The script we wrote after the Nations Cup was that, I mean, after the Confederations Cup was that, Mikel has done everything. He wanted to win it. But, you know, Jose Mourinho came to Chelsea and you, you just. And Mikel is only playing beats. Scattered everything. Mm. All right, let me read a few more comments on Twitter very quickly. Um, Utsemania. Um, is reacting to someone on Twitter. It says Nigeria will have Argentina, Japan, and France. That's a difficult group. 
if you ask me. And um, Akin Badi Adebayo says, 